This video addresses the fifth grade math standard of adding and subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. Okay, before I get started into that skill, let's discuss fractions real quick. The top numbers are called numerators, and the bottom numbers are called denominators. There's a recurring theme throughout this unit, and that's make common denominators. Make common denominators. Make common denominators. In order to add or subtract fractions, the denominators need to be the same. So, even though it looks convenient to say 2 minus 1 is 1, and 6 minus 4 is 2, 2 sixths minus 1 fourth does not equal 1 half. You need to make common denominators. So many of you are asking, but why? Why not? It seems pretty simple. You just add or subtract the numerators and the denominators and you should be done. Well, in fractions, the denominators actually represent units. Uh, so there are five pieces that are sixths and one piece that's a fourth. And so in a way, it would be like adding apples and oranges. Uh, I have three apples and four oranges, so I have seven, well, I can't say seven apples. I can't say seven oranges. So what do oranges and apples have in common? Well, they're both pieces of fruit. So I can say I have seven pieces of fruit. In the same way, you need to figure out what six and four have in common. You need to figure out what the denominators have in common. Visually speaking, here's the problem. I have one fourth here and two sixths here. Well, if I try to combine them, I put this circle over this one, and I rotate it, try to add them together. Well, look up, up, and if I move it back this way, I, I look, try and line them up. It doesn't really fit. You see, I, I have some odd pieces. I have these two pieces here, I've got a bigger piece here, and then I still have that fourth. So I have what? One, two, three, four pieces, but what size are they? And they're different sizes, so I can't really put them in the same category. It doesn't quite work. All right, move these back. And I want you to know something. As I go on to the next page, I have three twelfths and four twelfths. But look closely. Does the amount shaded change between one fourth and three twelfths? Or two sixths and four twelfths? Two sixths and four twelfths. No, the amount shaded doesn't change. However, I've split them into different size pieces. I have three twelfths over here and four twelfths over here. So I've made the amount of pieces the same, thus making it easier to combine them. Rotate it around. Look at that. Look how nicely it fits. So now I can easily see that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of twelve shaded. I have seven twelfths shaded. So I could say that 3 twelfths plus 4 twelfths gives me 7 twelfths. So 1 fourth became 3 twelfths. And 2 sixths became 4 twelfths. And when I add them together, I end up with 7 twelfths. Okay, so that's the why we have to make common denominators. And here's the how. When adding or subtracting fractions with unlike denominators, we need to make common denominators. Make common denominators. So what you're going to do is write out the multiples of both the numerators and the denominators. So let's start with the top fraction, one fourth. And so I would recommend only doing three or four multiples at a time. That way you're not wasting effort. So one, two, three, four, and then four, 8, 12, 16. The bottom fraction. One, two. So I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 6, 12, 18, 24. Now remember, when we're writing out multiples, we're not changing the value of the fraction. Uh, going back to the previous slide, we're not changing the amount shaded, we're just changing the size of the pieces. So all the fractions in this row are equivalent fractions, and all the fractions in this row are equivalent fractions. We're just looking for where the denominators match. And lo and behold, we have a twelfth down here, 
and a twelfth up here. So our equivalent fractions are three twelfths and four twelfths. So our new problem is three twelfths plus four twelfths gives us seven twelfths, just like we showed with the visuals. All right, let's do an example with subtraction. Five sixths minus five ninths. Again, we're gonna write out three or four multiples at a time. And if you don't get the, the common denominator in these three or four, then you just write three or four more until you find that common denominator. So five, 10, 15, 20, 6, 12, 18, 24. 5, 10, 15, 20, 9, 18, 27, 36. All right, and then if you look at the bottom set of denominators and the top set of denominators, well, here we have 15 18 and 10 18 So our new problem is 15 18 minus 10 18 And so 15 minus 10 is 5. So our answer is 5 18 Remember, when you're writing out your multiples, you're not changing the value, just the size pieces. And last but not least, never, ever, ever, ever add or subtract the denominators. You're only adding and subtracting the numerators. And the reoccurring theme is make common denominators. Mixed numbers is also part of this fifth grade standard, but I've created another video to address that. Uh, either find it in my channel or in the link below.